All right. Hi. In this lecture, we are going to learn about a different aspect of how to use ChatGPT. Now, the question here is: uh, We have seen ChatGPT used for you know mental health, used for you know uh, blogs writing, and, and different other things. Um, let's just say you are have you happen to be a software engineer, right? So you would have to write codes. So to your surprise, ChatGPT can also be used for writing code. I mean, it's tremendously powerful. I'm like. Let me show you how. So I'm not going to explain you the basics of codes here, but I can show you three different things. First, let we will stick to one particular code and I'll show you the different ways of writing it. Right. So let's just say I want to find prime numbers. So I will write, write me a logic, write me a logic for the program, program. Um, uh, for, for the program um how to find prime numbers no uh, let me just say right, program R write a logic for um write a logic for program to find prime numbers right okay cool so let's just see Here's one way of writing the program. So it is writing in some um, language, I guess. I think it's Python. Yeah, it's mentioned it is Python. There's one way to write a program in Python to find prime numbers. And this is how you should you find the prime numbers, right? And so it also explains you. And you see, that's the best part. That is the best part of this particular chat GPT. And that is, it doesn't only give you the program. It actually explains you how the program is written and what you should be explaining it to the you know interviewer or how should you learn right so if you see here i said um, write me logic for the program how to find them so now i can write pseudocode write me pseudocode me a pseudocode uh, code for the, the program for program to find prime number so just to read this one yeah so it will let me give me pseudocode so you know what if you are oh it's not giving me pseudocode so let me just um it is giving me actual code for in java of course um the pseudocode just defines a function okay let just let me stop generating i want a pseudocode um write me okay step by step uh, what is wrong with me? Yeah, all right, let me see this. Hmm. Step by step logic in English for finding a for writing a program to find prime number right of the bar i right okay let's see you see that's how that this is what i was talking about so it gives you line by line this is pseudo code all right this is called a pseudo code, not the above one so this is what it will give you um line by line definition of what you should be understanding from the particular program it doesn't only stop there though you can get any any program in any language let me show you how um write the same program in golang let's see if it could write golang is another um you know uh, what do you say uh, coding language de developed by uh, google program in go to find prime numbers you see and it's done it's that easy okay it will just explain everything same in java i'll just write it here as well so it goes you it goes the extra mile and actually start explaining things and that is the crazy part here guys i mean how awesome is that nobody will actually go and teach you like that but this particular um, chat gpt does i mean awesome right i mean okay now let's try the same in java let's see how it writes yep you see it writes the same thing in java now now i'll also ask it to write it in write the same in 
um, C sharp. Yeah, no C sharp. Uh, C sharp. Right? C plus plus. Yeah. Let, let's try that. Let's try that. Yeah, yeah. I get to. I know. I know. Let's stop generating and I just. Right, let's write it in C C plus plus. You see how awesome is that? It also includes uh, the libraries and everything which it needs, and then it will give you exact program of how to write this. I mean, insane, right? It's insane. So let me just show you one more thing, a little higher level of programming. Okay. Um, okay. Let me see if I could do. Write me a program. Program to connect. Python to Postgres database. Let's see. Sure. I'm going to connect Python to Postgres to Psychopty to. Oh, wow. <laughs> you see, I know this, right? I know this. And this is how you connect. Uh, and absolutely insane. You see, this is the code you need to write the results and, you know, fetch all those things and, you know, iterate over the results. And this is how you do it. This is the power of AI nowadays so developers don't need to code and people just don't know how to what to do with their jobs anymore you know the ai is doing everything well uh, that's not the case though um, you know if these are redundant tasks uh, these are not um, tasks which are very creative kind of thing these are uh, redundant tasks and easier ones so you you can pretty much imagine if these easier tasks have been uh, you know um, done by the ai then people can actually go ahead and focus on the more creative task right all right so you see so many codes and everything is awesome so this is the power of ai and i end this lecture with this note that now you can use ai to solve your programming problems well if you are a kid and you are in school and you have to solve your problems of computer science or rather programming I would not recommend to use this please go ahead and try it yourself and then if you do not have an answer then come to this this is not an escape guys this is a tool to learn not to replace your knowledge with this all right so please keep that in mind i don't want to give the wrong intentions here but you should always know what how to use this right all right that's all for this lecture i'll see you in the next one